Hello friends, here I am going to start a new series to learn the PostgreSQL database. In this series, we will learn how to work with Postgres database and querying on it. We will see how to create database table inside databases, performing raw SQL queries on it, including joins and all that. But first of all, we need to know that what is the Postgres database at first. So it is an advanced enterprise class and open source relational database management system where you can perform both SQL and JSON query. Okay, by SQL, I mean the relational queries and by JSON, I mean the non-relational queries. Okay, and relation simply denotes the table column format that we store in the relational database management systems and non-relation by mean that always comes the data in the pair of key values. Okay, that's like the JSON object. Okay, and Postgres SQL is used as primary database for many web applications as well as mobile and analytics application this series will help you in understanding the core database management system concepts working in details and you can also apply these learnings on your web application projects as well now let's talk about rails application that when we work with a rails application in development environment it uses sqlite databases default but this is not the database adapter we use in production in production you will either use mysql or you will use uh, postgresql but the percentage of postgresql is high than mysql however i'm just talking about this in terms of a rails application and saying this based upon my experience okay so when you deploy your application on production server then you need to change your database adapter from sqlite to either postgres or mysql and sometimes you might need to prefer raw sql queries over orm or active record queries so in such cases you must be filled with enough knowledge of some relational dbms okay and that's why i'm going to start the series with postgres okay and not only from the rails development point of view this series can help you in learning relational database management system for your educational subjects as well like if you are doing pursuing some degree in the computer science then you might have a subject for the database management system and this playlist definitely help you okay so let's wait for the next lecture and then we will start working with the postgres sql practically okay and in the next lecture we will see how we can create using postgres and how we can install the postgres sql in our system okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe